Hello everyone, welcome to another quick video. This is a how-to video on how to get your driver working for the Xbox 360 wireless receiver. So uh, if you're looking into options of controllers that you have for, for your PC desktop, uh, you found that usually the cheapest, most reliable ones are the, the Xbox 360 ones. The Xbox One also work. The the PlayStation DualShocks also work on PC, but they're slightly hard to get to work. And um, of course, the one with the cord is easier to get working. You just plug on the USB, but you have the restrictions that you can't be too far away. So the best one is to have a wireless one, in my experience at least. But to have a wireless one, you need an Xbox 360 wireless receiver, that it's called. Uh, if you go to eBay or to uh, um, Amazon, you'll find a lot of them. Just search for Xbox 360 wireless receiver. They look something like uh, this. Uh, there are some that come in a dongle pen as well. Uh, in my experience, those are usually not as good. These ones are more reliable. Uh, this, there are still some issues with the drivers on this ones, though, that sometimes they're not directly recognized when you plug them in for the first time, so you have to install them manually. And that's exactly what this video is about. So if you have that issue, you go to uh, to Devices, to Device Manager. On Device Manager, you will find Xbox 360 peripherals, and this one will be with a question mark. I'm already installed, so it, it looks fine now. And if you update the driver, you can search for Browse My Computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list of available drivers, and then go all the way to the bottom, and you will have several options for the Xbox 360 wireless receiver. Pick the one with the latest state. I usually pick this one. And next, yes, and it just installs the drivers. The drivers are already on Windows 10. You don't need to download anything unless you have a very specific version of this uh, little thingy. Uh, if you look up online, they will try to sell you the Microsoft official one. You don't really need the Microsoft official one. I got a Proxima Direct and it works just the same. I mean, it's the same protocol, the same working procedure. Uh, it just has one button that you can click on it to synchronize. And how you synchronize, I guess I'll take the opportunity to show this as well. Not going to uh, do my computer now. You just uh, hit this button here. And while the light is blinking, you hold this button up here. And this will synchronize uh, both devices or let them know that this one is supposed to be synchronized to this. And then if you hit the main a uh, big green button to activate it, you will see that it's blinking one for controller number one. And if I turn on the second one, it should already be synchronized. It's currently black, as you can see. And if I hold it, it will hopefully turn into pad two. Maybe it's not synchronized. So yeah, and then you get both of them uh, listed. And once you have both of them uh, uh, listing up as controller one and controller two, then you can just use them uh, as well in any game that features it. The problem that usually happens is that when you update Windows by some reason, they uh, remove these old drivers and you have to reinstall them. But as I mentioned, you don't have to download uh, anything, just go to uh, the menu I mentioned here, update driver, browse my computer, let me pick from a list of drivers, and then just scroll all the way down to the receiver. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope it was useful. Uh, let me know if you have any additional comments uh, below. So bye-bye. Uh, Take care.